Alright, this is Luis with Super Dubai. I'm here to show you how to replace the film sensor for the semi automatic cups here that we offer. Um, there's most, some, there's some times where these actually just don't work, and what will end up happening is that the film either won't get fed at all or actually will continuously feed. So, if that does happen, more than likely the, the sensor's the issue. First things first, though, so if it does have like a adjuster here, you might want to adjust the film by turning this small little screw here left to right. So if that doesn't work, then, then maybe it is time to replace the sensor. So first, the, so what we're gonna do now, I already removed the back cover. There's a few screws up here on the side and one in the back. So just keep that in mind. I didn't wanna show that in the video since it takes too much time. But once you remove the back cover, locate the sensor, which is uh, the, the, this side here, it should be on the left side. This little screw. So we start off by taking that off. Just make sure you don't lose any of the screws when doing any of this. So I loosened up the sensor. Next thing you want to do is to cut off the zip ties here. So let's do this one first. Be careful not to cut into any wires as you're doing this. Okay, there's one. Here's the second one. Okay, with the zip ties out, locate the cable for the sensor, which should be the sticker black cable here. And just follow it through and see where it actually plugs into. And it should be the last slot here on the bottom. So there's one, two, three, four connected here, should be the first one on the left. And it's on the only one that's colored. All right, so basically so drive the cable through here. And then you're able to remove the sensor. Sensor is actually fully functional, so I'm not gonna put a new one on there. This is just for me to show you guys in the video. But in order for you to put this back on there, it's gonna be a little difficult simply due to the fact that there's this small hole here. And it actually has to travel up here. And it'll more than likely come up from here since that'll be the easiest way for me to get it to go. Alright, so we removed the sensor already. It's time for us to put it back on there. In order for us to be able to do that, I believe you have to take off the cover. There's two screws up here. I already removed the ones from the bottom. So. That's only the front cover here. So like I said, there's two on top, two on the bottom. I already got the ones in the bottom out. And then there's this top cover as well. And that's only out, so we have a little more room to work on these. So we're gonna remove one, two, three from here. So front cover's off, uh, top cover's off. So this is how we're gonna route the, the cable. You see the small hole here? It needs to match the, the secondary hole that's actually over here close to where my finger is. It's kinda hard to see it through the camera, but it's there. And you can see it overhead. So uh, basically, you just have to be meticulous here. And you try to route it into the small hole, so you might need to twist the white edge. If it's a little difficult, stick your finger in there. Or try to at least. Alright, once you route it into the second hole, I still need some guidance from the finger. You see the cable here is already on its way up. And then just basically send the head out here. Make it travel all the way down. And it's going back into the same slot here, which is the last one. Make sure it's in there tightly. We're going to grab a zip tie and then we zip some of the cables here. So we'll do this one first. Okay, that's one should be enough. Uh, but if it's optional, if you want to do a second one, the second one should actually be located up here. And 
We'll do second one about here. Okay, cool. And you know, one of the few last steps is actually putting the screw on the sensor here. So what we're gonna have to do, you could align it anywhere here. It doesn't matter as long as it's straight and then just basically screw it in there. Uh, it's best to use your hand at first, screw it in and then, you know, use a drill or a screwdriver. Okay, so make sure the sensor is snug in there. So uh, you're pretty much done. You have to put the back the back cover on, the top cover and the front cover on, and then test it with actual film. But besides that, it should be a pretty straightforward process. Any questions, give us an email or give us a call. Thank you.